What I want to start with is the superficial anatomy of the spinal cord, meaning what it looks like from kind of more the outside and relating it to the vertebral column. So let's do that. If you remember from learning the vertebral column in lab, we learned about the various vertebrae. So this, there's seven cervical vertebrae up here. There are 12 thoracic vertebrae and five lumbar vertebrae. There's also um, five fused vertebrae that make up the sacrum. And then the coccyx is the bone that's below that. The spinal nerves arise from sections of the spinal cord that are embedded within the vertebral column. The vertebral column is what protects the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is going to run all along inside of this vertebral column that bones protect it, the delicate nervous tissue. This is our spinal cord itself. We then have to have spinal nerves arise from it, carrying information both to and from the spinal cord. Spinal nerves are actually going to arise both from just above the first cervical vertebrae and then in between each one, just like that. So that's also shown over here. In between C1 and C7, you have eight spinal nerves. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna add C8 in there. Eight pairs of spinal nerves, I should say. Then we go to the first thoracic and there's gonna be 12 of those that correspond to the 12 vertebrae. 12 thoracic spinal nerves, five lumbar, five sacral, and one coccygeal. Note the anatomy below the thoracic level. There's this cauda equina. This refers to horse's tail and it is this anatomy right here that looks kind of like a horse's tail where the spinal nerves travel straight down and then out like that. Let's look at this with a different image. So here is your vertebrae. Where is the spinal cord on these images? Well, in this image, it's right here. Spinal cord is inside the vertebral foramen. You'll see me draw this butterfly shaped tissue um, when I get to the anatomy of the spinal cord. So that's where that is. Then on this image, it's going to be kind of right here. Ignore my little blips there. And again, below each vertebrae, we're gonna have a spinal nerve come out. Those spinal nerves are gonna come out through these intervertebral foramen, those holes, kind of like this. I'm gonna go erase that one. So in each of those intervertebral foramen, a spinal nerve comes out. Here's that same image of our spinal cord again. I'm sorry, of our um, vertebral column. And then we're gonna look again at how the spinal nerves come out from that vertebral column. So this image is showing C1, that spinal nerve that comes out above C1, the vertebrae. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Below this point here in the lumbar region, the spinal cord itself has ended and the cauda equina, that horse's tail, is present. That is just that bundle of nerves. What's a nerve again? A bundle of axons. One more image here. This is that same picture I showed in the first slide. Now we're zooming in to look at, um, look at this closer. 
So here we've got the spinal cord. This is gonna be where you'll see that heart shaped thing, butterfly shaped thing that I'll draw right on a section of that. So here's our spinal cord in the middle and the spinal nerves are exiting each side in those vertebral foramen. This is our vertebral foramen. I'm sorry, our intervertebral foramen. Our vertebral foramen is going to be right here. The rest of this anatomy that is shown here, these different spaces, this ganglion, we're gonna to get to when we zoom in to a cross section of the spinal cord.